Okay. Wow, I never realized how freaking gorgeous this horse is. Wow, okay. Um, <clears throat> hi, everyone. I know some of you were probably hoping for like a formal role play. Uh, I might still do that in the future. We'll see. I don't know. We'll, we'll let you know. But for now, last the last video that I posted was a video um, putting up three different horses for adoption. And those three horses have been rehomed. So I'm sorry if you... We're hoping to get them or if you submitted an application and didn't get them like let's just get the disclaimer out of the way that there's obviously only three horses i can't give every single person a horse that's just not how this works you know like try not to have any hard feelings um this is just a role play after all and all three horses are going to really great homes um, i'm super excited to see what they're gonna like do with these horses so i'm pretty excited about that it is the fact that I just recorded that entire video without screen recording. <sighs> I don't really know why I do this to myself. <gasps> okay, it's at this point in time that I need about like a minute worth of footage. Why? Why? Why am I so stupid? Okay, um, I'm pretty sure like not- I literally just finished the whole video and it literally- not only did my audio disconnect, but I never clicked screen record. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Luckily, this video is pretty easy to film because I'm just basically talking about the horses. So, as I stated at the beginning of the video, there were a lot of applicants that I had to go through, which I really appreciate. I really appreciate everyone's support and them wanting to take home these horses and be able to give them good homes. <coughs> wow, excuse me. Um, it always means a lot to me. Um, like I said, don't be too disappointed if you didn't get a horse. I only had three horses that were available for adoption and over a hundred applicants, so not everybody's gonna get a horse, but that doesn't mean that I won't have more adoption opportunities in the future. So try not to get discouraged and be sure to keep an eye out for the uh, new applications. I really think that the people that I chose after reading through all the applications, because trust me, I did and it took forever. I really feel like the people that are taking home these horses are just gonna take such great care of them and these horses are gonna be really happy with their new homes. So I'm as sad as I am to see them go. I know this is a really great opportunity for them. With that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say before I announced all the winners. So let's get into this, I guess. So the first horse that I had available for adoption was Jake, AKA Heartbreaker. Jake has literally been on my channel since the very beginning. He was one of the first horses that I ever introduced in my role plays, and so he's got a special place in my heart. Um, a lot of people were actually really upset that I said I was going to be selling Jake. This wasn't technically my decision because he's not my horse. He is under my name, however, Josh is the one that's been riding him for the majority of it, and Josh is the one that's been using him in working cattle and using basic him for just basic chores here on the ranch. So I'm really not the person to ask about this. Um, uh, we, I just really wanted to make room in the barn for new faces and so this is just this is an exciting thing because it gives Josh the opportunity to work with a new horse and now that Jake is finished and well adapted and well trained like he's gonna make somebody really happy but Josh just needs that project horse and needs the ability to work with a untrained horse if that makes sense i don't really know what i'm saying right now regardless i think jake is going to be going to a new home and the person that's going to be taking home jake is gloria um i'm pretty excited about this i will leave the instagram handle on the screen and also in the description and i'm also going to send out dms so don't worry like everybody's going to be notified that they're getting this horse and like it's going to be great okay i think jake will be better off at this household um he'll be able to just work with cows and live out his ranch life and be able to retire happily as well um he's not super old but he's getting there so he's just not able to do as much work here as josh needs so i think it's time for him to get a new horse the second horse is probably the most requested horse throughout the entire application process like it was insane i really okay i really thought that admiral was going to be the most popular horse just because he's very no he's very widely known on my channel however that actually wasn't the case and i was really surprised um jj was definitely the most wanted horse out of all the applications there was a few people that wanted jake and there was a few people that wanted admiral However, in the end, everybody wanted Johnny, um, which means it was a kind of a hard decision for me to pick just because there were so many really great homes that were wanting um, Johnny. And I'm really, I'm really grateful for that because this man deserves the best and he's just a little pony that's out here trying to teach kids how to ride. I think Johnny is a really great lesson pony um, because he's stubborn. 
I know some people would say, well, well, that's not good. You want a completely broke horse. And Johnny is broke. Johnny's gates are great, and he's great at teaching riders the basics, but he's also stubborn, and that's a good challenge for riders because it teaches them respect for these animals and also how to not give up, you know? If you have a really just calm, easygoing horse, then it gets easy and then it almost gets boring. So in my opinion, Johnny's really great for teaching riders how to persevere and how to respect these animals because in the end, horses are big and they're powerful and they're amazing creatures, but they do have the ability to severely injure us. So in my opinion, Johnny's a great lesson pony and as a result, I will be giving Johnny to- Please, Kiwi. I'm trying to film and I'm almost done. Which is why I made the decision to give Johnny to my good friend, Amelia Dream Bell. She and I have been close friends for kind of a while now. I don't actually remember how long. You're gonna have to ask her because I don't know. But either way, she's a really great person. And as some of you know, she recently lost one of her lesson ponies um, that was very, very dear to her. And I really just think that Johnny's gonna be able to help drive her lesson program forward and be able to give her lesson students that opportunity. I think he'll be treated great there and he's gonna love his new home and he's gonna love working with all the new kids and Amelia is such a great person I really trust her with all my horses and I also entered her little film contest a little while ago I didn't win but it was still a great opportunity for me and I want to be able to reciprocate that <clears throat> opportunity as well if that makes sense i'm losing my voice wow <laughs> apparently when you film stuff twice it just screws with your voice um the last horse that i had up for adoption was one that a lot of people were sad to see go and i really do understand why admiral um is a <laughs> big old teddy bear worth of a clydesdale and i really do love him and um it was not an easy decision to decide to put him up for adoption i've had him for about two years now and he's definitely getting on the older side and in my opinion, he's just really not getting the attention that he deserves here on the ranch. I have so many horses and so many foals and so many things on my plate that Admiral has just become more of a side dish is what we'll say. And I just feel like he deserves the world. And unfortunately right now I can't give him the world. So I think it'll be best if I just put him up for adoption so that he's able to live out the last years of his life happily and healthy and just being able to go out on trail rides. And so as a result, I decided to pick Rinley Kindle, um, I think I'm saying that right, uh, to adopt Admiral. And I think they're going to be a great match together. Everything's linked in the description. Yeah, I'm just really excited to see what this pair is able to do. Like I said, I know some of you were very upset to see that I was going to be putting up some of my horses for adoption, um, especially Jake. A lot of people got upset about that, but you know what? It's just life, and in this horse world, um, you can't keep everybody forever. As much as I would like to, I really want to make home. I bleh. I really want to make room for horses that need it and that need safety and need a home and need proper training so that I can later resell them. So I'm hoping to adopt um, a new horse actually. So there's actually a few new horses that I'm going to be welcoming to my barn. So be sure to keep an eye out for that video. Um, for now, that's about all that I had to say. Um, yeah, I don't know. Thank you to everyone who applied. All of your applications were beautiful and I was really impressed. However, there can obviously only be three people that can take home these horses. I'm going to have to wrap this up because my bird is currently yelling for me. So before he screams in the video, we're going to call that good. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.